going to talk about one of the most asked about um, things that I get on the channel and that is fit. I am working on Simplicity 1253, little oldie but goodie. This is, I don't know, five or so years old, but it is just a basic woven tank. You uh, make it out of drapey fabrics, you know, pretty straightforward. There's a gajillion different patterns like this. So I thought it would be a good one to um, talk about fit with you guys. I'm making view C. Um, and then the first thing that I do with all the patterns is I use my very own <laughs> fast fit worksheet. And this is just a system that I have developed. It's available on my website, website the worksheet and instructions on how to use it. Um, and it basically just sort of analyzes the patterns measurements, the finished garment measurements, my measurements, the ease that the, pat the, the pattern designer is hoping to, for you to achieve and kind of analyzes all of that and spits out a size and kind of what uh, alterations you need to make. The fast fit system is really great for assessing circumference. So bust, waist, and hip. And you can see that on this one here, I cut a size 16, graded out to a 20, and then based on the worksheet, uh, determined I needed to add an additional four inches to the hip. So I just added a one inch um, little wedge, graded out one inch on both side seams, and that'll give me the four inches that I need. So once I have that done and I have my pattern pieces all cut out, I will drape them on my ditto form. Uh, I've talked to you guys about the ditto form a little bit. This is basically an exact replica of my body. I had my body scanned on a 3D scanner. They applied everything that that told them to a dress form, um, design this dress form like exact to my body. Even like the discrepancy in one of my boobs is bigger than the other one, that's in here. If you have a lower shoulder on one side than the other side, they would find that as well. Um, you know, my belly protrusion, you know, my back, they, they really do get it all. So I know that whenever I am draping on the ditto form, I am pretty much like draping on myself. It's awesome. So there's obviously always a ton to analyze and I don't want to completely overwhelm you guys by putting all of the information in one video. So in this video, we're gonna specifically talk about the location of the bust, waist, and hip line and how that measures up to my body and then the adjustments that you can make accordingly. So if you can see, now that I've got this on my dress form, it's inside out, so it is a little bit hard for you guys to see, but the bust line, is right here and that perfectly lines up with the bust line on my ditto form. Um, it is going across the apex of my bust exactly where it should be and that completely matches up with the bust line. Good to go there, right? So then we wanna move down to the waistline and you can see that the waistline is marked on the pattern and it is right here, all the way down here. This is my waistline, my natural waist. So either I am short-waisted or this pattern is very long-waisted, however you want to look at it. Um, and then we can finally come and look at the hem. The hem is hitting right, well, this has got to be turned up. There's a 5 8 inch hem allowance, so we can turn that up. And you will see that this is going to hit right above my low hip. So when it comes to a top like this where the hip is not marked, kind of where you want the hem to hit you is gonna serve as your hip marking. Um, this is a top that I plan on wearing with you know both untucked and tucked. So I do wanna make sure that this hits at a place that I like. So some things to contend with here. One is because my bust is in the right place, it's not an issue of the shoulder being too high or too low. You can also see that up here on the neckline, everything looks really great. It's not too high, not too low. It's hitting at a really comfortable place. So I think from the shoulder down, we're, do we're doing pretty good through the bust. It's just when we get to the hip where we have a bit of an issue. So we're gonna bring the hip up and this is exactly how I would do it, even if I weren't filming myself. I would take all of the pins out of the front, leaving the back intact. I would fold it along the hip line and then I would bring that hip line up to my exact hip line. 
him and I will keep everything along the center front, that full line, the line will still continue to be straight all the way down to the hem. And you can see that I'm gonna end up taking out probably close to two inches. Okay, so once I take out what I need to for the waist and I pull that waistline up to my natural waist, now I am reassessing the hip, right? So the hip is gonna come down here and now it's actually going to hit closer to my, I don't know, it's not totally my high hip. This is my hip bone right here. Like the ditto form really gets every single nook and cranny of your body. It's kind of crazy. So that is my um, high hip. Yeah, the, the um, pattern is now going to end right at my high hip. So I need to decide if that's something that I want or if I want to add what I took out of here back to the hem. Um, and of course, with the top like this, it's not that big of a deal, but which is why I wanted to use it because I thought it'd be a great illustration. Um, if you were working with something that had a waist seam, you wouldn't just want to take it off the hem. You would want to make sure that your waist line hits exactly where the pattern designer wants it to. And that's what this process is going to allow me to do. It's going to get the waist seam up high. That means it's going to have a really nice natural curve on the side seam. Um, so this will prevent that from happening. And then it'll allow me to decide, you know, it'll pull up the hem obviously. And then I can decide if I want to add more length to that or not. All right, you guys, there you have it. That would be the first next step that I would take when it comes to fitting um, this particular pattern. Fast fit worksheet, then I would drape it on my ditto form, compare the patterns, bust waist and hip lines to my body's bust waist and hip lines, which is obviously so easy to do whenever you have a dress form that is a carbon copy of your own body. Um, so now I'll feel confident cutting this out, knowing that all of the horizontal placements are in the right place, as well as having a really great circumference. I'm gonna be back to talk to you guys um, more about fitting. I do want to add a lot more of those videos to the channel. We'll talk about arm size, we'll talk about shoulders, we'll talk about um, the backs of patterns and how to make sure those are, you know, properly aligned with your body. And if this has inspired you to look into getting a ditto form for yourself, I do highly recommend them. It makes this process so much easier, especially if you're alone like me. Check the description box. I'll have a link to where you can learn more information about upcoming scans and how you can do them remotely possibly. And um, of course, you know, how to get your ditto form. So that is gonna do it for me today, me and Ellen. Um, that's the name of my ditto form. And we are gonna go get to work and cutting out this cute little simplicity top. You'll see it here shortly. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye.